Hello everyone and welcome back to Winders Model Farms. Today I'm going to be showing you our haul from an antique mall not too far from where we live. Um, this antique mall, we go there once every two or three years and always seem to come out with something um, farm toy related. A couple of our first toy tractors we ever bought, um, bigger toy tractors, we bought a 9400 and a 9400T back when we were um, still not even old enough to drive yet, um, bought from that antique mall, and that kind of was some of our earlier on stuff to our collection, so it's kind of cool going back there and seeing what they got. So as you can see, we picked up a ton of semis. Um, not that any of those were uh, just a super great bargain, but they were all priced decent, um, eight to $12 on a lot of them, a couple of them being the hair more. But then the really good deals came on these tractors, combines, and then what's in those bags back there. Best deal yet, and uh, we'll get to all that. But we're just gonna run through these things one at a time, just to show you what we picked up. And um, yeah, we're pretty proud of it. Um, so just start over here. First of all, Kenworth T600A with a um, John Deere decals and John Deere trailer, John Deere Parts Express. Um, just a plastic trailer die cast metal bottom a die cast metal truck with a plastic bottom nothing too special nothing too crazy but just cool old john deere um, toy uh, i say old it's not super old but um old enough but yeah and then next the exact same thing as that just it's stickered up as a penske but same toy um same trailer and everything we may strip the paint off that custom paint it do something cool with that and these were both i believe the john deere one was 15 dollars. the penske one i think was like 12 bucks um and the mayflower one this one i believe was eight dollars um same exact truck and trailer just different decal um, i thought this one i like that color green but like i said we may do something with that one too not sure yet Next is the same semi. Um, this one is a, I think it's called Wheat Belt. And then the trailer says Farm and Home Wheat Belt Limited Edition. The sticker is kind of messed up on this one. And this trailer is actually bigger than those. And this trailer is solid metal, so it's heavy. It has a door that goes up and slides in. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, so that is... That said, this one was a little bit more expensive. I believe this one was $20, most expensive one of all of them, but a lot of metal there. Thought it was a cool um, truck and trailer with that farm and home wheat belt. Not sure if that's a store or what, but that was the next one. And then um, after that, I'll just jump back here. We got a best livestock um, transporter truck. It is a Mack cab over with the trailer. Um, and if you remember on our video from the auction we bid on, we actually just bought one of these in an auction for very cheap. Um, and then this still is pretty cheap. I think 10 or $12 on this. Not bad at all. Um, pretty cool Mack cab over. We may get rid of the truck because we already have one, but we're definitely keeping the trailer because we've always wanted some livestock trailers, so it's gonna be nice to have like three or four of them sitting around now. Um, next is an older one, same exact truck. Now this one is beat to a tar. This one's been heavily played with. This one I think was $8 for this set. Um, what I'm probably gonna do with this one is repaint that and do a custom paint job on this truck. Maybe customize it, because it is in pretty rough shape. And the trailer is a little bit older, not quite the same decaling as the last one. So it's got the older Ertl plastic tires, but still the same like slide up door. Oh, I just broke that. Okay, that wasn't good. Uh, as you can see, this one's pretty old. So uh, I don't know if I'll be able to fix that, but anyway, still worth it. Um, older Ertl trailer there. Um, next, I bought this one just strictly because the um, cab of the truck looks so cool. And this one, I think, was $12 as well. It is a Walmart truck. And uh, I'll drop that. 
and the trailer is solid die cast door goes up and in um don't really care much for the trailer it is nice trailer though but i really wanted this truck kenworth cab over which is a really cool truck we may try to take the blue stripe off of it and just leave it white um i don't know i just really like the look of old cab overs just look really cool to me so anyways that is that one uh then oops sorry about that then we've got a um walnut creek logging truck this looks like it's a ford uh arrow something i think is what those were called but it doesn't say on the bottom but it does look like a ford trailer is die cast with plastic siding it's like a flatbed trailer kind of a steak side look siding and that can be removed if wanted to if i wanted to or so that's pretty cool um truck and trailer there and then the next one is actually a truck and trailer um i've been wanting to buy for a while i've seen them on ebay and seen them other places and bid on them before in an auction never won them but it is a plainfield trucking grain truck by Ertl. i really like this little truck from Ertl. um nice day cab really cool little look white gmc i believe and the Ertl grain trailer which we have plenty of these but which is a cool little set um next is going to be a truck we just bought a similar one just like this in that auction as well a simon's feed store with the grain trailer i like the gold stripe on it and everything it's simon's feed store and that's an international so a cool set there as well um the next one maybe one of the cooler finds um it's a hwi it says the friendly ones i'm not really familiar with that company but it's the same white um white gmc as the plainfield trucking here um, made by Ertl, but it does have pup trailers um so you can see here the pup trailers and it comes with a little dolly that i dropped but um cool little dolly that hooks into the back of the trailer and um you got your pup trailer so i thought that was pretty cool looking um i don't know if we'll what we'll do with those but it's pretty cool and then um next i'm kind of making a mess let me set all this out of the way this is actually a 1 to 50 scale i believe um we don't really collect that but this was two dollars so i could like could not buy it for two dollars it looked like it was in pretty excellent shape so i may just throw this up on ebay and get rid of it but um i don't know i couldn't just not buy it for two dollars so dear road grader now this is a 9870 sts combine um if you look close decals are not the best of shape they're worn this thing has been played with see paint chipping around there um it only comes with a corn head but um, it was $3, so I couldn't turn that down for 3 bucks. I've got some ideas of what I want to do with this. I think I'm going to strip the paint, repaint it, do a custom, throw some good tires and wheels on there, and um, have a cool little custom. I actually have done a 9870 STS custom before, but I think I'm going to do one a little different this time. Um, just see how it turns out. Um, the next one is this Steiger 535 quad track. Um, as you know, we've probably got quite a few 535s. Um, this one though is different. It is the Washington one. So we did not have the Washington one. You can see we need a new decal really on the side there. It's been played with, not the best shape. I mean, it's not the worst, but it does look a little, little janky there. But overall, this tractor is in pretty good shape other than that one decal, which is really only that way because it was stuck on too high by Ertl at the factory, so it's stuck up over the hood, but the Washington 535 quad track. Um, let's see, what's next? We've got a, oh, the Washington quad track we gave like $2.50 for. Um, 
8360RT. We've already got one of these, but our track is actually ripped on the one we've got about a quarter of the way through, which means we don't really roll it because we don't want to rip it all the way. I gave $2 for this, so um, now we'll be able to put a track on ours and or just switch them out because this thing is in excellent shape. Um, so yeah, couldn't not buy that either. Uh, next thing, this one's pretty neat. Uh, $1.95 as you can see there. We've got a John Deere sprayer. Um, now the cab is missing, but the booms is here. So we've got the booms, um, which is nice. Booms are there. Um, as well as the body. So you can see it's a 4930. It just needs a cab. So I may be able to come up with a cab for it. I don't know for sure, but um, I can fix the booms and all that. That should not be a problem. Really, I think they just snap on. So I don't even think that there's really much of an issue with the booms. It's just gonna be can I find a cab for it? So um, I think I can. I've got some ideas if I can't of what I can use to create one, but yeah, so that is 4930 sprayer. It's a pretty good pickup for $1.95, even without the cab. And then the last thing, my favorite pickup of the day. Um, see this small John Deere tractors and equipment, $3.95. So $3.95, let's see what we got in here. Um, first thing, just a collect and play John Deere, uh, stickers missing, nothing much. We've had several of these in our past. No big deal there. Not something really, not worth anything. Next thing is an 8420 convertible tractor, which is kind of funny because we've actually, one of our very first John Deere farm toys was one of these and, um, we end up doing the same thing. We clean, broke the cab straight off. So we have one that looks just like this. We also have one that um, actually has the cab and we custom put the GPS on there, but I thought it was funny. Um, <laughs> we broke one just like this when we were younger. Um, so that's really not worth anything either. Um, next, got the John Deere 2700 mull tripper. So now we're kind of getting somewhere uh, this thing, you know, it's probably worth like 10 bucks, maybe a little more now. I don't really know. Um, it's definitely worth more than we paid for the set just to get that 2700 mold tripper. Something we've already got, but hey, couldn't turn it down for that price. Uh, and then we got a collect and play forge wagon, so that's not really anything special. Um, we've also got a collect and play... Hay wagon um nothing too much special there and then the one reason that i'm most pumped about this whole trip is we've got a john deere i think these are 1790 air seater um so like i said i paid four dollars for that bag so four dollars got this 1790 air seater um somebody has done a little bit of playing with some paint so it's got some paint on there it's got some paint up here and the decals are off on the side but uh still like if you had this in mint condition these things are selling well over a hundred dollars all day long we've got one um and so i've got some plans for this um it may never happen knowing me and my plans sometimes but i'm thinking stripping all the paint off this disassembling it taking the plastic parts off repainting it um i'm thinking about custom painting it and maybe turning it into a great plains grain drill um or i may just put it back to a deer i don't know yet um we shall see but it'll definitely um, get a paint job either way we'll do something with it cool restore this thing back to its glory so Anyways, that's what we got, our antique mall finds for today. Um, total in, I'm thinking we spent, uh, can't remember now, 100 and something dollars, 100, a little over $150 for all this, so um, 
quite a bit, but we got quite a bit. And um, we'll probably sell some of the trucks and maybe a couple other things. And um, we'll get some of our money back on some of this to help pay for the rest. But got a few projects lined up with some of this stuff, like that combine and that drill. So that'll be fun. And I may try to see if I can build a cab for this thing. So I don't know yet. We'll see. But anyways, that's what we got. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed.